open gateways. When you play popular paranormal games and invoke beings and entities that are non-living, by establishing a connection, you open a gateway. If this gateway is not closed properly, which most of us have no clue how to do, it's very common for entities of lower vibrational frequencies to travel through these portals. They are looking for ways to physically manifest themselves and you might just become their target. Number two, drain your energy. In order to physically manifest themselves, they require energy. And where do you think they get that energy from? Yes, from you. So they will suck all your energy and you will have no positivity or light left in you. Spiritually inclined individuals, especially intuitives and empaths, are more sensitive to paranormal entities and without proper precautions and protections, it can be extremely detrimental to you. Number three, you are no longer you. When all the light is sucked out of you, what is left is darkness and you start behaving in ways which you would never do. Have you heard about the show Paranormal State? You remember the founder known as Ryan Buell? Have you seen the news lately? From being a paranormal researcher of 14 years, he is now in the limelight for being arrested for theft and fraud. In another case, according to NBC, two 12-year-olds stabbed their classmate 19 times to a piece of fictional creature. What made them do that? I think this proves my point. Number four, causes physical illness. This is when they have achieved physical manifestation. Yes, you get physically sick as you're dwelling in a negative space with negative thoughts. It causes both physiological and psychological damages in the long run, and you never know when and what hit you. According to an article in the Daily Mail, four Colombian high schoolers who were screaming and babbling and had to be hospitalized for hysteria after playing a popular game which went viral around the world. And all the people who played this game around the world had this exact same physiological and psychological manifestations. Number five, negativity follows you. Negative beings thrive on your fear and misery, so they will do everything in their power to break you down by creating hurdles after hurdles in your life, especially if you're spiritually strong. You become an easier target when you are weak and vulnerable and have lost all hope. And that is why I stopped researching on the dark paranormal entities. I was curious about afterlife and paranormal beings due to my own personal encounters and experiences from a very young age. I was constantly looking for answers, but I soon learned that it was a bad idea, especially for intuitive empaths and light workers. And trust me, the answers are not what you want to know. I burnt all my research that took five years to gather and closed that chapter once and for all. Even if everything I said doesn't convince you, remember this. The more you focus on something, it becomes your reality and you will manifest your worst nightmares. It causes unnecessary stress, fear and anxiety. So stop. Focusing your energies on darkness and focus it on enhancing your light. Until next time, love and light to all.